So it depends on what your health condition is. So if you have a severe allergy uh, to vaccine products, you should chat very carefully with your provider and we, and we can figure that out. Um, if you're pregnant, we'd love you to talk carefully with your provider or your obstetrician and we can discuss that as well. But absolute contraindications are limited only to people with really severe allergies. If you have comorbid conditions, so heart disease, immunosuppression, bad diabetes, perhaps you carry too much weight, they are the risk factors for severe COVID. So it's in fact more motivation for me to want to try and get the vaccine into people who have those illnesses. If you have autoimmune conditions, you are more at risk of bad COVID than you will be of getting a bad response to this vaccine. If you have, uh, if you take prednisone or immunosuppression medicines because of illnesses, you are at greater risk of COVID than you will be from this vaccine. We would say the same to our transplanted population and many of our folk who take chemotherapy. You are at greater risk of a bad COVID outcome than problems related to the vaccine. So, you know, there are certain circumstances maybe when that's a little different. So if you knew you had surgery coming next week, we would sometimes, you know, try and defer and get the vaccination as soon as you've recovered. But absolutely in general, the people with comorbidities are more, should be more motivated to get this with that one exception of severe allergy.